just hang it. Hi! Okay, so Brandon is like off doing his own thing tonight and I was like, um, what am I gonna do? I was supposed to go to a bar with Jeff and Shay, but then Jeff left work early because today we were auditioning in North Hollywood and Shay was at the studios late. So my plans fell through. Brandon is at the studios at a party and I was like, I need something to do. So you know what? I came home and you know what I'm gonna do? Randomly looked up these 10 questions about yourself and I'm going to answer them. I have no idea what these questions are, so let's hope they're not inappropriate, but if they are, I don't care, I'll say it anyway. 10 questions about yourself. Question number one. What is your favorite color? Really? Okay. Well, I would have to say my favorite colors would be red and blue, but I guess if I had to choose one, I'd say my favorite color is probably blue because my baby blanket was blue. Ooh. You know, I'm not ashamed to say that my baby blankie is actually still at my parents' house in my mom's cedar chest. Yeah, actually, my mom told me the other day that she was going through the cedar chest with my niece, Sophia. She's adorable. And they pulled out the blanket and she goes, Grandma, what's this? And my, my mom was like, oh, that's Uncle Peyton's baby blankie. And she's like, it has holes in it and it's falling apart, which it does. And it's really sad. Okay, this is also funny. When I was a kid, I had two baby blankies, right? One, I think my aunt made for me. I think my aunt Connie, whatever, it doesn't matter. And number two was a purple one that had frogs on one side, like a frog print, and on the other side was purple. And so I had two blankets, right? And what I would do is I would cuddle both of them. And then sometimes I would wake up in the morning and because I would toss and turn a lot as a kid, sometimes the blanket would fall off the bed and I would feel bad, like thinking that the blankets had feelings. And then if one fell off the bed, that it like felt left out that it didn't get to cuddle me all night. So what I would do is the next night, Whichever blanket didn't fall off the bed, I would very neatly fold up and put at the end of my bed and then I would only cuddle the other one because I didn't want it to be left out. Ooh, isn't that so stupid? Oh God, I, I don't even know why I did that. I blame the Brave Little Toaster because that movie totally gave me a complex about blankies. So, blue's my favorite color. Question number two. <clears throat> if you could be any celebrity who would she, he be? Um, Meryl Streep. I think she is amazing. I mean, if you look at like her sheer volume of work over the years, she's so friggin' cool. She's had like some of the coolest roles and the most dramatic, horrifying roles and some of the most iconic, intense roles. I mean, she's amazing. I mean, I would have to say one of my favorite films is Death Becomes Her, because that film is gold. Um, but then you have, like, intense films like Sophie's Choice. Oh, no, no, no. Like, whew, the part where she is... Oh, I can't even talk about it. Even her most recent work. She's just incredible. So, actually, I was working the Academy Awards this past February here, 2017. It's about maybe 20 minutes to uh, start a broadcast. And um, we're upstairs and Good Morning, Am I think it was Good Morning America. Anyway, they were broadcasting from the pool deck at the Lowe's Hollywood. So um, randomly, the last minute, the production manager was like, we need 400 amps of power. And we were like, we're gonna have to run 400 amps of power at a thousand feet with feeder cable for you. So that was that debacle. I digress. So um, I'm in a tux. I'm like hauling feeder cable, which if you don't know what that is, it's just basically very, very thick copper wire to move lots and lots of power from one point to another. Great. So I'm hauling feeder cable in a tux, mind you. And um, we just finished it. We run at a thousand feet. We're like sweating like pigs. It's disgusting. And um, I finish up. I'm standing there and I look up and here comes Meryl Streep walking with like some random people, I don't know, and some security guards. And she's so tall and she's so statuesque. And she 
walks with the most poise of anyone I've ever seen. She walks around the corner. And as she rounds the corner, she trips. But she just like, like caught her heel or something. And she stumbles and she almost falls right into my arms. Which would have been amazing because I would have caught her. I would have caught her and I'd have dipped her and I'd have been like, I got you, Meryl. But she didn't. She caught herself. And even her, even her like little stumble, she was so poised and amazing. And if I could trade spots with any celebrity, it would be Meryl Streep. Okay. Number three, where do you see yourself in the future? Hmm. Well, in the future, I see myself living in a nice house with a dog being married. Ugh, gross. Number four, three words that describe yourself. Tall, because I'm very tall. Passionate, crazy, in a good way. Good crazy, not like that crazy. So, yeah. Okay, number five, three words that describe your school. This doesn't actually have anything to do with me, but my school was SUU, so I'd say outdoorsy, fun, and theater, huh? Question number six. One misconception that others have of you. Yes. I think one misconception people might have of me is when I first meet people, I'm actually very reserved. Um, only because over the years, I think I've learned so much about um, first impressions and how people um, perceive others. Um, that I've kind of like soaked up all that information and I've tried to live my life accordingly to like make the best version of myself the first version known which is kind of rhetorical because I guess that's what you should do until you get to know me then I'm batshit crazy number seven one regret I have oh my gosh oh this is sad I actually regret when I gave up ballet. I really was passionate about ballet. I did some really fun, cool stuff. Um, and then I got my first job with Disney, um, working in the Magic Kingdom. And once I got out there, I, I didn't keep going to classes. I just kind of threw it by the wayside I think it's because I just kind of decided I wasn't going to be a dancer anymore after Disney I, I wasn't so focused on that I I didn't want to be a starving artist I wanted to I wanted to make a better name for myself I actually have a tattoo on my foot it says don't dream it be it ironically has nothing to do with Rocky Horror I actually got this tattoo to remind myself to never stop dancing number eight Something materialistic you want right now. OMG, I want a Mazda Miata MX-5, the 2017 coupe hardtop convertible. Oh my God, they're the cutest cars. I want one so bad. Number nine, your greatest fear. Oh my gosh. Like you're driving your car um, down the road and you get to a corner by a cliff or a hill and you take it too fast and your car goes off the edge and that feeling of once you go off the edge and you're out of control and you're just kind of like at the mercy of physics and gravity that's that is horrifying to me and number 10 okay what are two things you want to say to two different people probably to my grandma cooper whom passed away i was working in orlando and we decided that we were going to move back to utah and we just didn't know when, and we were waiting for Brandon to get a job. Brandon got a job, he got a phone call saying, congratulations, you've got the role. So I got the news and I called my aunt to um, tell my grandma that I was moving home and I was gonna get to see her in about two weeks. Um, my grandma had been living with my uh, aunt and uncle because my grandmother actually had um, ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, um, if you all remember the ice bucket challenge. Slowly, uh, all of her muscle control just started to deteriorate and she kind of started to basically become like a, a soul trapped in her body. She was still mobile enough. I mean, she could at least still 
live a life. She wasn't completely bedridden or anything, but um, I just want to tell her that I love her. You know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here or anywhere if it hadn't been for her. My parents were instrumental in helping me, but my grandma was really the one who like helped pay for me to be able to do things when we couldn't afford it. You know, I, I absolutely would have gone without when I was, when I was in high school, had had she not helped. And I just want to tell her thank you and that I love her. I don't really think I ever truly expressed how grateful I was to her. The second person that I want to say something to is to Brandon. He's just so wonderful. He just, he takes care of me and of himself and of our cat. And he's just such a wonderful person. Like, I can't say that enough. Brandon Lingle is just the most wonderful person. And I hope he knows that I really believe that. Mush. Ooh, it's mushy. I know. Gross. Anyway, whatever. Jessica Ray, don't throw up. She's rolling around throwing up right now. I know. I know. Okay. Great. So that is all I have time for. And if you stuck around and actually watched this entire video. Wow. So good on you. Thanks for joining me. Um, by all means, please come back watch again and yeah for sure for now have fun bye